The Suffolk horse is the, the native breed of Suffolk. They reckon every male at the moment can trace its ancestry back to a single stallion, that's Chris Horse of Ufford of 1768. They are a closed stud book. The Suffolk Horse Society monitors the breed and each Suffolk horse is registered. At the moment, we are critically endangered. We're on category one of the rare breeds survival trust list. Uh, and without the Suffolk Horse Society and uh, obviously the people that are prepared to breed these horses, they're not gonna be there for the prosperity in our children's grandchildren. The Suffolk Horse weighs approximately a ton, always chestnut in color. There are seven shades of chestnut, but if it isn't chestnut, it's certainly not the Suffolk. It was bred primarily for agricultural use, short in the leg, good body, plenty of heart, a lovely animal. They, they're termed as gentle giants, which is a little bit of an overstatement, but as long as they're schooled and, and broken correctly, they are a lovely animal to work with. Um, and I'll hand you now over to a dear friend of mine, Cherry Grover, who has kept Suffolk's and worked Suffolk's most of her life. They are, as Nigel said, a wonderful animal to work. We played with them, we did all the farm work with them, and the horse as today is still the same as it was 100 years ago. And it hasn't altered, and the Suffolk Horse Society has really kept the breed going. This mare is at Mr and Mrs Wainwright, and it's a mare called Faith, and um, she's four year old in foal, heavily in foal, due in a week's time. This is like Gypsy Rose. She was supreme champion Suffolk horse as a two year old and as a four year old. Uh, she's now five years old and we hope to get her in full this year. If you want your grandchildren to see these in, in future years, your support for the Suffolk Horse Society will be greatly received so they can support all breeding members of the society.